Greetings and welcome back to the Nissan Global Media Center. On Wednesday, Nissan released its third quarter earnings and financial results for the first nine months of fiscal 2011. Joining us today in the studio to discuss those results in further detail is Nissan Chief Financial Officer Joe Peter. Joe, great to have you here today. Thank you for joining us. Following Wednesday's announcement, we actually um, at this stage have a very good idea of what the details are, but I was hoping that you could walk us through some of the key figures um, and perhaps tell us what the greater significance is of, of what we've been looking at in the results. So I'd like to start by asking you, um, what do you think the key figures are of the quarterly results and what trends do they point to for our full year results? Sure. Uh, well, well, first I'd like to say that we're encouraged by the results that we've been able to post over the first nine months of the year in what was clearly a very challenging uh, business environment. Uh, if I could uh, uh, highlight, highlight a couple of things. Uh, first, uh, if we look at the, the, the chart that's on the screen, we saw strong demand for our, uh, for our products across the globe. You can see that in the nine month period, our sales reached 3,429,000 units, which was up 411,000 units over the comparable prior year and up 13.6%. And if we look specifically at the third quarter, the results are even more encouraging. We see that our results over the, this period in terms of sales are up 19.5%. Our global market share for the nine month period increased by a half a percentage points to 6.1%. And for the third quarter specifically, our global market share increased 0 0.8 percentage points to 6.5%. Second, uh, uh, in this period, we were also able to post a very strong uh, financial results uh, in spite of the natural disasters in Japan and Thailand and the continuing uh, impact of the strong yen as well as rising material costs. Uh, in the nine month period, we achieved an operating profit of 428 billion yen, roughly equivalent to $5.4 billion uh, for an operating profit margin of 6.4%. From a net income perspective, uh, we achieved 266 billion yen, roughly 3.4 billion US dollars for a net income margin of 4%. We also generated automotive free cash flow in the amount of 173 billion yen, roughly 2.2 billion uh, US dollars, and ended the period in an automotive net cash position of 357 billion yen, roughly 4.6 billion dollars. While the nine month financial results are, are somewhat uh, down from the comparable year ago period, the entire shortfall is more than explained by the negative impact of foreign exchange over the period. The underlying performance of our operation has been improving. In fact, if we look specifically at our Q3 financial results, we can see that both from an operating profit perspective and a net income perspective, we showed improvement versus the comparable prior year. Well, you talk about uh, market share increasing. Let's let's move to uh, geographic markets, and it'd be great if you could tell us uh, what geographic markets have been outperforming, and what regions do you think are facing the biggest challenges. Uh, sure, good good question. You know, quite frankly, our sales footprint and growth has been fairly broad based uh, uh, throughout the year. In fact, with the exception of Japan where we experienced uh, supply constraints uh, directly following the earthquake in March, we've seen our sales volume grow double, double digit in every major market, uh, uh, sales market uh, that we have. Uh, if we can uh, put up the next slide, we can see in North America, our sales over the nine month period increased 12.1%. In Europe, we were up almost 21%. In China, we were up over 20%. And in the other markets around the world, our average growth was 14.2%. Even in Japan, our sales decline was much less than the sales decline of the overall industry in Japan. And we were actually able to increase our market share 1.3 percentage points to 14%. And you mentioned uh, the impact of the appreciating yen. Um, obviously, it's been a, a headwind for not only Nissan, but a lot of the other automakers. How significantly is it impacting performance? Uh, very significantly. Uh, j just to put it in perspective, every one yen move versus the dollar costs us uh, 20 billion yen in terms of our operating profit on a 12-month basis. Uh, for the nine-month period uh, ending December 31st, 2011, the negative year-on-year -year impact of foreign exchange uh, uh, moves 
uh, cost us 150 billion yen. So a very significant impact. Uh, in fact, if we looked at our performance on a constant exchange basis, that is assuming that exchange during the first nine months of this year was the same as it was in this comparable period in 2010, our operating profit margin would have exceeded 578 billion yen and our margin would have been over 8%. So again, you see a significant impact uh, as a result of the, the, the yen strengthening. Over the medium term, we have initiatives in place to reduce the exposure of our business uh, to uh, uh, the exposure of our business uh, as a result of the current yen revenue and cost uh, imbalance. Uh, this includes uh, a production footprint shift along with increased uh, sourcing from uh, 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 qualified competitive sources outside of Japan uh, for components and services. Uh, given the current strength of the yen, uh, our activities in this regard are being amplified and the pace is being quickened. It's hard to imagine, but um, it's been nearly a year since um, the earthquake and the tsunami struck Japan. And later last year, we also had the flooding in Thailand. And I was wondering if, w when we're looking at the results um, that were announced on Wednesday, um, is it fair to say that Nissan has been able to overcome these external issues? Or if not, how much further do we have to go? No, I, I think uh, it, it is fair to say that. Uh, our people worked very hard uh, to recover our operations from uh, the impact of these uh, disasters. And I think our results uh, demonstrate the effectiveness of uh, their efforts in that regard. Uh, as we look forward, we continue to face external challenges. Uh, the primary ones being, obviously, in the short term, the continued strength of the yen, uh, as well as the uncertainty related to the uh, European debt crisis and the potential impact that that'll have on uh, the pace of global economic growth going forward. Uh, uh, having said that, we're confident that our Nissan Power 88 midterm plan, which we announced earlier in the year, coupled with our exciting product portfolio, in our organizational agility leaves us well positioned to meet those challenges going forward. Uh, Chief Financial Officer Joe Peter, thank you very much for joining us today. Oh, and thank you for, for having analysis. me. Appreciate and uh, I'm from the Global Media Center. This is Kobo Masters.